Welcome back friends. I recently had someone comment in one of my videos where I was running this Milwaukee circular saw right here with the stock blade. And they asked me if I've ever tried out this new blade right here by Crescent. It's called the nail slicer. And my answer is no, I have not. So what we're gonna do in today's video is test this out. We're gonna put it through some extreme tests actually. And then I've also picked up two of the cheapest circular saw blades that I could find. So what we're gonna do is test them equally against each other and see if it's worth spending $4 less or spending half the amount on this blade right here. So let's get ready and do some heavy duty testing. And just a quick reminder to subscribe to the Mark Thomas Builder channel and stay to the end so that way you can see some sparks fly. So all three blades are seven and a quarter inches and have 24 teeth. Let's take a look at the nail slicer right here. This has a couple differences to it that you can see right away. It has some laser cut holes for vibration and for keeping the blade cooler, keep it from overheating and warping. You can see the Ace blade does not and also the Avanti does not either. So then I weighed each blade on my own scale. I did it in grams because that would be the biggest difference. So 228 there, 220 on the Ace, and then 198 on the Crescent Nail Slicer. So you can see the price difference between the three, 998, 599, and 499. So when I'm testing all three blades, you'll hear my factual observations, but it's gonna be up to you to let me know which one you would choose. For this first round of testing, we're going to see how many total inches each blade can rip on a fully charged Milwaukee three amp hour high output battery. So once the battery stops, we're gonna give it a 30 second rest, and then we're gonna go one more time and see what remaining distance we can get. So we'll have the results for you here in just a minute. So you may notice my Milwaukee infrared temperature gun here. I check the blades quite often, but they really didn't ever get that high in temperature. For instance, after this rip, it was only 60 degrees. We ran out of daylight, so I ended up bringing in one of my work lights, and you'll see this video ends up taking place over a two day period. So here we are picking up where we left off. Let me show you the final results. So the most distance, first place, nail slicer went 512 inches. Second place, the Avanti went 411 inches. And third place, Ace, it went 392 inches. So I think there's a couple factors going on. So the nail slicer is definitely the thinnest blade. I took my digital calipers to it and measured in millimeters. This is 1.77 millimeters, the thickness of the carbide teeth, 1.83, the ACE, 1.93. So all the tests moving forward will be with the Milwaukee 12 amp hour high output battery. So I have a few different ones that are fully charged. So we're gonna make sure they have either three or four bars of power on them. So we'll keep this as fair as possible. And also what we're gonna do before we really abuse these blades right here, we're going to just see how it does with some cross cuts. And to keep the cross cuts as fair as possible, we have this Craig jig right here. It'll give us a perfect 90 degree angle. Yep, that works well. You hear a little bit of ringing in the blade. All right, Oakley, you're gonna have to stand back for this test. We have three two by eights you see there's lines, they're about every inch and seven eighths apart. So we're gonna drive 50 nails in each board. All right, as you can see, we have 50 nails in each board right here. So we're gonna start ripping. And 
and as you can see we have some nice clean cuts all the way down. No problem, we're gonna have to put this blade through some heavier stuff. Okay, we are ready to run the ace blade. I have a fresh battery in there, fully charged. Let's go. Okay, 89.1, highest temperature reading. Yeah, it's definitely tearing the two by six there. All right, so now we've got the crescent nail slicer in. We've got another fully charged battery. Okay, started out real fast. Not bad, just a little bit of tear out. Let's take a look at each blade after going through 150 nails. So this one still has some life left in it. There's a little bit of an edge there, not, you know, real sharp. Here's the ace, a little more blunt there. Let's see if I can get a close up for you. And then the nail slicer, Let's see if you can get a look at it. There's still a little bit of an edge on that. So we've got another test coming up. I think you're gonna like. So this next test involves some scrap billing material that I have on hand. So I have a one by 12 right here. I have some aluminum flashing. And then I have some 30 year architectural shingles. We're gonna put two layers on. Then here is the half inch OSB. I'm gonna use a narrow crown stapler right here to tack it in place. So I also put some drywall screws just to really squeeze this tight together. And then I'm going to have five of these right here. These are some quarter inch by six inch lag bolts right here. And then I have five of these three inch deck screws right here, galvanized. So these are going into the one by, so I did pre-drill it. So a few minutes ago, I came up with a name for this test right here. I'm gonna call it the Malachi Crunch. So if you're familiar with that fictional situation, you'll know that it's very difficult to survive. All right, I'm gonna call it right there. That's as far as I can get. I'll get a running start and finish that cut and then we'll try the next blade. But with this blade right here, it was just past that white sticker right in here where I had to stop. So it can just kind of catch its breath a minute and then start over again. So here's one observation from using the Avanti blade. So maybe it was some user error but I did get a little curve going on right there. So I'm not sure if the blade started to heat up. It may wobble a little bit, but I'm not sure. Okay, so now I let the saw cool down a little bit. We've got a fresh charged battery. Have the ACE blade in there. Okay, definitely gets a little smoky there. This was a nice, clean, straight cut. Okay, 
That really went through well. So here's the final test. I don't think any one of the three saw blades will make it all the way to the end here. This is what we have, the 50 nails that are still in this board right here. And then towards the front, we're gonna start out, it's gonna hit three of these quarter inch lag bolts. So one, two, three, and then we're gonna step up to these right here, five sixteenths by eight inch, three of these. And then at the very end, we have one of these right here. This is half inch lag bolt right here. I don't know if anything's gonna go through this half inch one. This is going to get interesting. <laughs> wow, that really, that amazed me. I did not think it would do that. All right, so one thing I'm just noticing right now with the Avanti blade, it did leave a little bit of a wobble. So maybe when it's hitting some of these big legs, it causes it to go off course a little bit. All right, so now the ace is on deck. All right, I noticed it did seem to struggle more than the other one on that last big half inch lag. So one thing to note, this looks like a nice straight cut from the ace. All right, and last but not least, we have the Crescent Nail Slicer. All right, so overall I'd say that looks pretty good. All right, since that went better than expected, we're gonna bring out the asphalt shingles one more time and see how it does. For some reason that went better than before. Maybe it was something to do with the operator. All right, so you can see what it looks like. All right, so now if you look at this blade, you can see where all that carbide's really worn down on here. There is a little bit of life left if you had to finish a project on the job site. Like I said, it's worn down, but you could get a little bit more work done with this. Take a look at the blade. All right, so here is a close-up of the Ace blade. So it depends, you gotta look all the way around. There's a tooth right there. Big chunk is missing, part of that one is. Then there's a few others that have a little bit of an edge to them. All right, I can see, <laughs> yeah, I can see it's not as much of a fan of the shingles. Yeah, the thin design, this is the thinnest of them all, and it really goes a lot further than the other ones on a single charge in regular wood. But when it comes to the asphalt shingles and then the flashing, after it hit it the last time, it started to struggle. So. Still feels like there's a little bit of an edge there, but it just ended up struggling in this right here. So I guess it depends on what type of construction you're doing as to what blade will serve you best. Okay friends, I hope you've enjoyed this comparison of these three blades. So let me know in the comments down below, depending on what type of work do you do, would you go with the Avanti? Would you go with the Ace? Or would you go with the Nail Slicer? 
So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And then at the very end, you can see my most recent video. And I also put together a playlist of five videos that I think you'll like if you've made it all the way to the end of this video. All right, friends. So thanks for watching. And we'll catch you on the next one.